Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is experiments in art. And I had to like narrow down the choices and see what I felt like doing. Because <laughs> it's been a long day here and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I usually have these planned out a little bit better, but the last couple of days has just been a little crazy. So First off, before we get started, I need to introduce someone very, very special, very lovely and darling, and my love, my honey, my executive producer, Mr. Michael. Well, thank you very, very kindly. Welcome, everyone. Happy Monday. Start of the work week. Here we are. Glad you are here tonight. I want to thank everyone in the chat, taking a look here. Oh, seeing Daniel Vance. Hey, Daniel. Glad you're here. He's talking about the traveling Wilburys. Oh, Man, that I is a favorite. I could talk about that. Petty. Tom Petty was my guy. Jeff Lynn. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot to talk about there. But anyway, continue on. Lee Child is here tonight. Hey hello, Lee, hello. glad you're here. And of course, is a lovely, vivacious Cheryl. Hey Cheryl, glad you're here. Yes, yes. <laughs> and let's see, who else am I seeing in here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm scrolling. <laughs> oh, there she is. There is Diane, Hello, Tony Diane. and Diane. Hello, North Carolina. Tony. Hey, guys, glad you're here. Yay! There's Brookie Cookie. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Brooke. <laughs> Hey, there's Mike from Creator Spotlight. Hello, hey, Mike. Mike. Glad you're here. Julie's here. Arizona Rock Garden Designs by Julie. Glad you're here. Jeff B's here. Hail Jeff B. Glad you're here. <laughs> and there is Lady Mist. Hey, Lady Mist. Glad yeah. you're here. Yeah. Doris. Doris at DF Designs. Hey, Doris. <laughs> Monica's here. Monica's Creativities. Glad she's here. Hey, hey, hey. And I think we've got everybody. If I left anybody out, oh, wait a minute. You know what? Just saw her. There's Angela. Hey, Angela. Hello, Angela. Hello, hello. Glad yeah. you're here. Yeah. Well, if I did leave anyone out, please jump into the chat. Let me know. We'll give you a shout out. So. Absolutely. We appreciate you being here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Are you catching us on replay? You know, thanks for hanging out. Um, if you're enjoying the artist vibe and want to join a creative tribe, click that subscribe because we go live almost every day. Like we go live a lot, but we have a lot of fun doing it. When we do experiments like this. We do lots of fun art and, you know, we just hang out, drink beer, have fun. That's what it's all about. Hey, there's Patricia tonight. Hey, oh, Patricia's Patricia. got her coffee and her peanut butter blizzard. She is oh ready. Oh, my God. Oh, you are my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> That's the way to watch now a show I'm right there. Ice cream. Michelle Renee. <laughs> Michelle Renee Art. Hey, Hello, Michelle, Michelle. Glad you're here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I mixed up this pouring medium or mixed up this Iridescent pouring medium. Let me see if I can Oh, there's Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey, give you a Dina. quick shout. Hey, Dina. And so um, I have this Liquitex iridescent medium, and I mixed it with um, uh, the the stuff for the bloom pours. Um, what is it called? The um, ultra deep base, untinted. Um, I think. Who makes it? Sharon Williams. There we go. And I mix that an ounce of the iridescent medium, an ounce of the, the base, and then I mix it with Floetrol to, to come to consistency. And I do mine at a trace of three. If you don't know what that is, watch one of my other videos where, you know, on Thursday mornings, I, I describe it in detail. But I make all my paints the same consistency. And what we're going to do is I'm going to add silicone to this. And we're going to try a new silicone tonight, too. Um, my friend Elisa over at Jots Design, um, she uses this in her um, resin art. And I found some when I was traipsing about uh, Lowe's the other day. And I'm like, wait a minute. 
that's Elisa silicone. So I made sure to get some. And um, it says quick drying, but I don't know. It's, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to measure out an ounce and a half because I made a separate cup because I don't want to taint what I have in here. I just would rather have just a little bit. Um, so we're going to do about an ounce and a half, and then I'm just going to do what? Try and do one drop. We're going to try. Let's see how that goes. What size canvas are you using? This is an 8 by 10 okay. pre-stretched. I think these are still the Hobby Lobby <laughs> ones. Um, but I have Arteza ones now that I'll be using um, as well. I got them on sale because Arteza, their website, they actually have weekly deals. And sometimes you can get some really good deals. And I'm waiting for the 12 by 12s to go on sale again. So one thing I noticed, okay, one thing I noticed about this bottle is I took the top off. Because sometimes they have foil on them, you know, and you pop the foil off. This one has this little tiny squeegee bottle on it. And I'm like, well, that would be handy if you need to, like, really lube something up, I guess. But That's what she said. <laughs> yes, honey, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so, plus I think it helps control your drips a little bit better. Because I am not good with these. But we're going to go with it. Oh, see, we got bubbles. Bubbles, tiny bubbles. And we're just going to get tiny one drop. Whoop, that was two. But that's okay because I got all these bubbles. What the deuce? Got to get the bubbles out. So I put basically one drop <laughs> in a bubble. <laughs> so we're going to try this out. It smells kind of funny, though. I don't know if I like that, but it's 100% silicone. At least that's what I think that's what it is. I thought that's what it said. Maybe not. Maybe I read wrong. It's tiny print, and I need new glasses. <laughs> hey, we want to welcome first time attendee Coco's Corner. Hello, Coco's Corner. Good to see Thank you. Thank you for Thank being you here for tonight, being here. and we welcome you. And if I understand correctly, I believe the name is Shannon, if I got that right. If Hello. not, please let me know. Yes, let Michael so know. He's still welcome. learning We're so names. glad that you are yeah. here. Yay! Also, there's Gina Bina. She's here tonight. <laughs> Gina. So I'm giving this a good stir just because it's how I roll. <clears throat> so we're just going to do a flip cup tonight because I was trying to figure out what would be the best way because none of these other paints have silicone in them. So I want the iridescent medium to mix, but I don't want it to like get super mixed. So I, I don't know. I, I figured a flip cup would be the easiest way to mix it. Um, I thought about doing uh, just a regular straight pour, but my hands hurt today from all the fiddly work that I've been doing. So I'm just gonna do, we're not gonna do it on the canvas though, that's annoying. So um, what I got here is Arteza Bordeaux Red. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of that in the cup. Okay, and I should be wiping off my edges, but I'm not, because I'm gonna be using that later. Anyways, and this is Liquitex Basics Feldo Blue. So I shook these up pretty well. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Um, I mix these up pretty well before the live. We're going to put this blue down in there. And then I'm going to put some of this iridescent medium in there. We're going to drop it high and bring it down low. There we go. So this looks white, but it's actually going to dry clear because that base dries clear. Flow trial, flow trial dries clear. And then, um, actually, I'm going to do this neon, Liquitex Basics Neon Blue. Um, so we're going to do this guy. Give him a little bit of love there. And then um, this is Arteza Pearl Hot Pink. And this is all of them. Well, no, wait. This is a semi transparent. This is a semi transparent. Um, this is an opaque, and this is an opaque. So we got two. So we'll make it cells just on its own because we're dealing with different densities of paint. 
but let's see what happens. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this. A bit of that. A little dabble do ya. Isn't that a commercial? At some time, I don't know. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I I'm think it's. I think it's a, like a hair gel. Is it? A little dabble do ya. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's like that pomade. It's in a Jimmy Buffett song. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll take yeah. Your, I'll take your word for it, babe. All right, we're just going to put this guy on there because this lid I have handy. So Sue's joined us. Hey, Sue Hello, from down Sue. under. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. D&D &D Art Gallery's here. Hey there. Hey there. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for a minute. Wow, that's already flipped. That did flippy thing already, but we're going to clear some of the space off. I was going to put white in it, but then I'm like, nah, I already got pink. I don't want any more pink, so... We're just going to go with strictly color. I figure we got enough. Um, the pink and the red and the, the neon blue and the other blue, they, they give enough contrast to each other. I thought about putting a little bit of charcoal in there. Oh, meh. Meh. <laughs> it's kind of how I talk to myself. And, yes, I do talk to myself. I have some of the best conversations with myself. I always say I'm a full party, me, myself, and I. And um, so... We're going to flip this baby right now. We're going to wreck it too. Maybe. Here, go back through there. There we go. So, I'm going to flip this flip cup over on this flip cup. Come into dish. There we go. That one could go in the garbage. <clears throat> so what I do is I save all my flip cups. I flip them inside of each other, and then I'll flip them on a tile and see what happens. So I've so, gotten some pretty cool tiles doing that. Daniel Vance has a question. He'd like to see the density of the paints you're using. The density? Okay. So the density on, on the Bordeaux red is are, is opaque. When I do my bottles, I don't always – I I – usually use up the rest of the paint and then I throw away the bottles just to help save space in my studio. Um, so I make sure to put most of the information um, on the bottle when I mix it. So it's Arteza Bordeaux Red. I mix it four to one with Floetrol and it's an opaque color and it's a consistency of a trace three. So that's how I label all my bottles now um, versus keeping notes because when your hands are full of paint, it's hard to keep notes because um, <laughs> your notebook ends up in all of the covered in paint. Just don't ask me how I know this. But okay, so the other one is Liquitex Basics Phthalo Blue, and that is an opaque. And then the Liquitex Basics Neon Blue is a semi transparent or semi opaque, depending on how you want to look at it. Glass half full, glass half empty. Um, Arteza Pearl Hot Pink is a, a semi-transparent. So we've got two semi-transparents and two opaques. So we're going to have cells no matter what we would have done. But I want to see, and I might just do another pour with just these four colors and see what happens too um, um, later on so we can compare. So, um, so I guess there may have been a misunderstanding. He's He's wanting to know the consistency. Oh, consistency? Yes. Consistency is a trace of three for all of them. Um, I mix all of my paints to be, I mix them all when I'm mixing my paints, especially the first time. Um, let me see, do I have one handy? <laughs> I and have then like Shannon four. was asking the question, what is a trace three? Trace three, okay. When I first mix my paints, I usually mix them in a container like this. These are four of them put together. I, I'm not going to try and pull them apart because I will spooge it everywhere. But um, And then I, I scale everything out and I make sure I keep track of what I'm adding to the thing. And then I get my trace three. Um, trace three just means um, that, hold on, let me put these back over here so I don't spooge them all over. Um, let me show you real quick. In this maybe I can no that's white that's not going to show um I don't have a color that it will show very well hang on maybe this one no that's almost gone hmm 
Yellows, I must have got green's the only one that broke you, Gray. You must be very disappointed in me. I didn't use a lot of green in my last painting. Okay, so I stir the paint up and then I take a scoop of it and I pour it back onto itself. And when I say a trace of three, it means it takes three seconds to disappear. And when I do it, I give it a good stir. And then I pick up the paint and I go back and I watch the edge of the paint go flat. Um, I am a soap maker and that is how we tell um, how thick our soap is, is we call it trace. Like um, you also do it in pastries, you know, you, you swipe through it and watch it fall in on itself or you do this little test and you count one, two, three, what, like, 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 like waltzing. Okay. So it's um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa. So we're a double pa. <laughs> but that's a trace of three. Cool. I don't Daniel even... Vance is very interesting. So this so. has already got some really cool cells on it. Cool, cool. Pia's here tonight. Hey, Pia. Hey, Pia. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're going to kind of just rock it back and forth here. Yeah, we are getting close to that 750 mm -hmm. subscriber mark. Everybody's talking about it. I know. Closer and closer. I'm going to play Oingo Boingo. <laughs> mm. I've been at Oingo Boingo in probably close to a decade. Hey. Okay. Everybody needs to watch the Rodney Dangerfield movie, Back to School. I know. I oh, wait, on... we did hear that. We did watch that movie when we I did. first got yeah. here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of white and put it, because I don't want to lose this. This is really cool. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Let's see here. I'm going to take yep, a little bit subs, of this white. So we just need a few more. We'll get there. No doubt. We'll get everything lined up. Well, and I, yeah. I it's been really kind of crazy day. I've been doing like 15,000 different you've things. You've been pushing yourself today. So no doubt about it. Yeah. Diane's saying that uh, it's Braille cream. We'll dabble. Do you? Yeah. That was her slogan. <gasps> Thank you. I Braille couldn't cream. think of it. Yeah. But that's in the Jimmy Buffett song. So well, I, if, you, if you know your Jimmy the only Buffett. One, uh, the only yeah. Jimmy Buffett song I know is... Um, Margaritaville. I love that movie too, Julie. Yeah, great movie. That's right, Dana. Diane wants to know, Tish, is there anything you can't do? Um, I can't drive a semi. <laughs> I probably could figure not, that out. Not yet. Because I, I do know how to. I do know how to drive a manual, and I did drive a 20, 29 foot RV from Minnesota to Texas. So. <laughs> through Kansas back roads because my ex-husband didn't want to pay for the tolls on the freeway. So we took the back roads and I'm like, next time I'm, I'll pay that damn toll. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. I, I, you know, just not doing that again. It's not that the people weren't nice. It's just, it just wasn't my bag, I guess. So I'm putting white around here because I want to try and maintain these colors a little bit. And yeah, it's probably going to be interesting to see what happens because I didn't put any white in the mix, but you can see the white. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. Is that going to be iridescent blobs? Is that going to be, I don't know. We're going to see. So tune in next week. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I feel like, isn't the... Isn't that an old soap opera thing? An old like radio soap opera? There we go. Now it's moving the way I want it to. Tune in next week when we hear Roger say, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you so yeah. Much. <laughs> oh, bother. People wonder why I love you. All they have to do is listen to our lives. <sighs> Mm. Okay, there we go. I don't like that corner, but we'll come back to it. Okay, Dina so. says, Tish, that sounds like my husband, cheap skates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you know, there's a reason why he's my ex-husband. And that's not the only reason. Uh. Julie says that she can see me and you doing long haul trucking. Oh, good God. And then we'd go live from the road. Wouldn't that be interesting? That'd be kind of fun. Who, who, can, who can tell me the song C.W. McCall did? That was the... Um... See if I can get it in the chat. No, but I'm trying to think of it myself. Maybe Daniel knows. Well, he was singing in the... Talking about singing in the shower. Singing right? in the shower. Yeah, the one man extravaganza. That's it. Sue got it. Convoy. Julie got it. Yep. I remember listening to that in the in the tractor with my grandpa. <laughs> Cheryl goes, go live on the road on top of the hood. <laughs> That 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 that, that like sounds smoking the bandit sounds a little inappropriate maybe maybe Snowman I'm just man and the bandit okay so yeah playing Jerry Reed I'm sorry every time I think of Jerry Reed I think of 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 Scooby Doo I cannot help it huh I cannot help it. It's just uh, Jerry Reed is. He, he, I know he's in Smoking the Bandit. I know he also did uh, Dukes of Hazard and a bunch of other shows. But for whatever reason, Scooby Doo is what I think of. Shannon, we have we have gone back into the Wayback Machine, just like <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what happens when hot tub time machine? <laughs> oh my goodness, let's not go there. Okay, so that corner. This corner is a little bit sad, so we're going to kind of tip it this way. Just a little bit. So I'm interested to see how this white dries because, wait, I don't want that. Hang on. I got to squirt the corner here. Mm. Diane saying Chris Christopherson. Oh, my it. gosh. Mm. There you Blast go. From the past. My mom used to play him all the time. George is talking about that red lacing on there. Love it. Yeah, this is, I love Bordeaux red. This is like my favorite red. And I have to thank my friend and pal and like sister from another Mr. Brooke for turning me on, turning me on to it. But I'm cheating. <laughs> I, I don't want white corners. Got some talk about Scooby Doo, Scooby -Doo Mr. Machine. A, Scooby Doo is Brooke's the best. Saying, I you got a bunch away of, with it too if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. Got a <laughs> bunch of stoners driving around in a van solving crimes. Come on. That's Julie funny. wants to know who is the guy that's saying you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd? What? Hmm. I have no idea. Hmm. Come on, Michael. You know, like everything music. Hey, come on. I want I want Daniel to answer that one. <laughs> Depends on how many margaritas he's had. Wasting away in Margaritaville. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. I went to see Jimmy Buffett in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was like amphitheater, lawn seating. I tailgated all day. After two hours, I passed out. And three hours, that guy was still going strong. I mean, he is a showman. Yeah, I had the opportunity to see him yeah. at a state fair once, but my mom wouldn't let me go. So. Mm, Cheryl's talking about Roger Miller. Roger Miller's good. King of the road. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to bring me back to my childhood and riding around in the tractor with Grandpa. <laughs> okay. Sounds like good times. It was good times. I mean, I learned how to drive a tractor before I learned how to drive a car. <clears throat> he says she's here. She's just lurking and working. Who is? Pia. Pia? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. 
Welcome to Tish's crazy paint show where Michael tries to keep me in line. Oh, Roger Miller is who sang that. Can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. Very I good. I don't know who that is. I mean, I know who that is, but I don't think I've ever, I probably have, knowing me. I've heard a lot of music that I'm like, oh, yeah, I know this song, especially punk rock music. It's like, I don't know bands, but I know music. All right, here we go. Start off in this corner, and I can see the silicone divots, so we'll see how that dries. Sorry for moving too quickly. Shannon saying Smurfs. Looks da, good, though. Da, 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 da. I love how the phalo blue and the neon blue melded together. Hey, there's Heather. Hey, Heather. Hey, Heather. <laughs> so the white in the background is not actually white. It's the pour, It's the iridescent pouring medium. This up here might be actual white. Same with over here because I did put white on the corners just to help to get it to stretch. But I kind of like it. I got more cells than I normally would, I think. But um, I will do a flip cup tomorrow. Um, and that way we'll have, I'll use this exact, exact same colors. I just won't put the iridescent medium in it. And that way we can see what happened with what. But I don't have another canvas prepped. And I have to break into, either break into my package of Arteza ones, or I need to wipe down a one that I'm going to report on. So I have to do an inventory. So otherwise I would do it right now. Um, I wasn't, I was ill prepared. Hey, at least I come, I, at least I go to a battle of wits armed, okay? Okay. So, tomorrow night, we are going to do, test out um, the, this other pearl ascent mixing medium, the, uh, um, the sergeant art, but I'm going to mix it with actual, like, more um, thinner body paints. Um, last time I used more heavy body paints, so we're going to, I'm going to find some um, more, um, light body craft style paints and see how it does. So join us tomorrow for that. Um, Wednesday night will be Artapalooza. And if we get five more subscribers in the next 48 hours, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can hit that mark before tomorrow night. We'll see. So share this out. Share this with your friends. Get it out there on the interwebs. Because you know what? I'd be grateful for you. The ladies and gentlemen that joined me for Artapalooza would be grateful for you doing that. And if you don't know what Artapalooza is, there's a link down in the description below that'll let you know what Artapalooza is because it's crazy shenanigans, lots of art, lots of fun, lots of snorts, lots of good time. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or feel free to message me on Facebook. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.